Thank you for inviting me to speak today. And I'll be talking about communication, ageism, and future support for older people. It is fantastic to witness the amazing support that has been offered during COVID-19 in a variety of ways, food parcels, shopping, hot meals, and for various reasons, for example, isolated those on lower incomes struggling to buy food and shopping, and also having a free phone number was a valuable lifeline for older people to access services. However, people are scared to go out, even for hospital appointments or GP appointments. This is due to the communication messages that are confusing, lacking clarity, no guidelines, not giving assurances, but causing panic, anxiety, suspicion, and mistrust. Messages need to be clearer and unambiguous, in them, and there needs to be inbuilt support for language barriers. A gentleman I spoke to said the phone calls he receives is a lifeline and uplifts his spirit. Hopefully, these lines of connection continue in some form, keeping people on the radar, especially now since trust has been built up. We seem to be more moving forwards to a cashless society and internet connection will be essential. A significant number of older people are not digitally connected and it is essential that digital skills are enhanced and supported even more so. A barrier is the inaffordable internet connection. Is there a possibility of sharing or having affordable internet connection. People in independent living and care homes are out of sight and out of mind. And this has been amplified by COVID. We have to develop channels of communication because they are part of our community. COVID has caused a significant language slip. Media organizations, when describing older people, have been incredibly ageist. Going forward, a new way has to be woven using positive narratives and engaging with older people. Another impending worry is that TV older people will no longer be able to um, rely on this for their company most that's all they have in the evenings this is a wake-up call i feel it would be a terrible waste of opportunity when volunteers are redeployed to their regular jobs it will be a squandered opportunity to simply cut contact with people for whom this support was a lifeline moving forward funding and resources need to be in place to address the scales of issues around loneliness and food poverty that have been identified during the pandemic and people coping with decreased face-to-face -face contact what needs to be done in collaboration across all sectors encouraging age-friendly approaches building around the place module in neighborhoods. All the people's voices need to be amplified to prevent assumptions about what they need. There should be an intergenerational element to encourage community cohesion. We have to ensure that there is a constant message to prevent confusion and anxiety. Wearing a face mask, when we go out, keeping our distance and washing hands. As we are approaching winter, lots of 
other issues are very important for older people to be aware of. Things to consider is getting the flu jab. We have to eat well and we have to keep warm. Communication should include other opportunities for engagement, which is necessary to minimize loneliness during the long winter months.